All right, we're gonna go ahead and launch the drone so I can give you guys an idea about how we leave corners here and go around all the stuff in the way because we're in an active wind farm here and there are junction boxes out in the middle of the field. That's one right there. And there's also uh, lots of turning where we leave corners and then we pick them up at the end. So one of the questions from one of my subscribers was, do we go back and get those or we just leave them? Well, we go back and get them. We do 100% of the field. 100% of what we can do at least. There we go. Above you trying to make a buck from you in school in the whole congregation. I had that reduced lunch, I had the benefit cards. Never occurred to me to blame my family for life being so damn hard. I should have paid attention back when I was in school. Then I could figure up the tax. I would know a lot of facts. I missed the class where they taught the rules. I was memorizing capitals, I was in the spelling bee. I must have skipped the part where they taught the art of private equity I was selling chocolate bars I had a disorder I was cutting up a frog, got lost in the fog Learning how to play recorder If you only worked a little harder If you worked a little harder uh -huh. If you worked a little harder, uh -huh. if you worked a little harder, then you'd have a lot more. So the shame and the blame's on you for being so damn poor. It ain't the banks, and it ain't the taxes, it ain't the payday loans, and I rent homes, and predatory fees and practices. Wave your dumb flag, whatever it means. You should ask yourself when it comes to health of the poor, really all that free if you worked a little harder. Uh -huh. If you worked a little harder. Uh -huh. If you worked a little harder, you'd have a lot more. So the blame and the shame's on you for being so damn poor. So we went in and out here a lot, as you can see. You can see the first corner I left down at the bottom. So I've got to go around this junction box in front of me. I just leave the, the mower running. When I stop, as long as I'm not messing with it out there, I'll just leave it running. That way I don't break any shear bolts in accident. So here we go. We're going slow this morning. Only going about seventh gear, 3.8 miles an hour. That's an error. I've got the seat disabled, so it doesn't know I'm really in the seat. So we'll head up here to this first corner. And this is the corner I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave corners on every corner of this piece. Because it's just a little S piece. By S we mean S-H-I asterisk piece. So welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor Struthers. I'm a fifth generation Washington wheat farmer. You can tell because of my Detroit hat. That's not my Washington wheat hat. But I do have a Washington wheat hat. So that's all we farm out here is wheat. Not enough in moisture to do anything else. We grow some winter canola like they do in Australia. We're attempting that, but with the joys of seed oils, and no one seems to like them. They say they're machine lubricants and not to be eaten. Uh, don't know what to tell people about that. I don't believe it's true. I have canola oil at home. The smoke point's amazing, I love it. So, I'm gonna go around the edge of this, try not to whack any of these yellow numbers. There we go. 
Now I'm going to swoop out, swing wide over here. This thing I can't turn very sharp on, so I'm actually going to go a little farther. Okay, now I can turn, make my turn. Don't turn too sharp. With the quad tracks, we're able to turn really sharp and not tear up the ground, not smoke the dirt, but this thing will tear the dirt up. Try to turn on a hill, try to do anything like this. If you're going up a hill like this and you try to turn, it doesn't do anything. It just kind of sits there and uh, spins out one of the tracks, which is not good. So we're gonna go along this. All right. And going around this junction box, that's what that is. It's where the wires from one of these turbines, because I'm surrounded by turbines right here. One of these turbines uh, goes to this box, maybe two of them. And then from here it splits and goes towards the substation. That was me hitting the clutch because I thought I was too close. That wasn't. Now it's beeping at me because it says I'm in gear and my PTO's on and I'm not in the seat. The seat was dinging all harvest, so we just uh, bypassed it. I don't know if there's a new error or something. So I might not have gone far enough there, but I think I got it. I thought that was a horn out here. That's not a horn, that's a weed. Oh, am I close enough? Yep, barely. There we go, now I got around this junction box. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but we gotta do it. That's what you call inefficient farming out here in this part of the state. It's just, there's so many hills, the pieces cut up into such tiny pieces. Charlie. It's just very ineffective. Yeah, I told Trevor we just monitor his progress there. So this has all been beat up really bad. From running over all our bank out wagons, we filled the trucks here. So you can see the stubble is just laid flat on the ground. Uh, you want it to be standing up, but if it's laid flat, the suction of the mower will kind of stand it up and then you can cut it. Like, so this one doesn't need a corner. It's a nice swooping corner. Just follow the headlands. The next corner I'm coming up to though, it does. I mean, I gotta do the GPS too. Uh, it's got auto steer. It works pretty good, I have it all set right. So we do headlands, I call it freeform. It's called freeform on Trimble. This is a Trimble machine. It's a CFX 750 by Trimble autopilot. So it follows my last pass. So if my last pass is a lot of this, it follows it. So you wanna straighten out the pass before hitting the autopilot. But since this isn't my first pass around this field, it's fine. I was able to take a nice, pretty smooth line. Come up on this corner, you'll see what I'm talking about when I do. When we're talking about leaving corners. So I want to leave this one four wide. It can be up to four wide because I'm going to have to go in and out at least twice, probably three times. So if I'm going to do it three times to end up back in the middle, I want to do it four passes. So you watch here as I turn. The autopilot's going to run me into the corner. Sometimes it knows when to turn. I don't let it, but it'll tell you and you just shut it off and start turning. You can also kick it off with your hand, but so I'm gonna turn my turn now. It's actually too late. It's gonna be three passes wide, but that's fine. I'm trying not to turn too tight. I gotta go slow too. I'm, it's cold today. It's only 50 some degrees, but it's really dry, so we're fine. Hit the autopilot again. And now that's the skip that you leave at the end. That's leaving corners. So I just left another corner. It helps me do this faster. Instead of doing a loop at the end of every corner, I just leave a corner.
So we're out here in Starbuck, Washington, in the wind farms of southeastern Washington. I'm mowing winter wheat stubble. The spring wheat stubble doesn't need to be mowed. It's not that thick because, like I said, we don't get very much rain around here. So in the distance, you can't see them because they stopped, but our, uh, our seeding's going on right now, our winter wheat seeding, white wheat. I gets really confused about following my mower. It's just unable to. I tried to select it so I could track it. It's not tracking it. Just lost tracking capability again. So I'm coming up on another corner right here in front of me. It's on a side hill. I'm gonna leave it as well. Kick off the auto steer. This one's only gonna be too wide. This doesn't need to be four wide because I can cut this corner in such a way that I only need to do this with the up and back, not an up and back twice. I'm turning, leaving a little skip right there on purpose. And then once this field's all done, we'll pick them all up. So I'm driving a T-Track John Deere 9430T. The T means track, there it is. And I'm pulling a mower. You see on the side, it'll say Schulte. Yep, Schulte mower. 5026 it says. So I'm coming up with these junction boxes. This thing's going to want to do some auto steering for me. So I'm not going to allow that. Going too fast. It's doing a good job, but I'm still going too fast for the temperature. Like I said, it's only 50 some degrees. It says 63 now. Okay, so it is. It's 63 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And to all my subscribers and everybody who is subscribed already, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button for more content incoming from the Palouse here in Washington State. I also travel to Idaho and Oregon. And I focus mainly on wheat farming, but my whole channel is just a farming channel. This is Trevor Struthers Farming. There will be other channels coming up directly, especially now that winter's coming. There's going to be what I call Trevor Struthers React, or Trevor Struthers Reacts, where I'm going to go ahead and uh, make fun of everybody that I see on YouTube and just be a big giant hater. But I think it'll be funny. So when that happens, I'll be sure to uh, I'll be sure to let you guys know. It might actually be up by the time this video is released. So. I made a few videos involving farming at my father's farm and he was not thrilled by the idea that his farm was put on the internet so that was stopped some 17 years ago and it's okay by no fault of his it wouldn't have been a great story because after farming for a bit for him I was expelled from the farm and I went and did my own thing I went to Michigan went to Mexico California Wyoming Oregon but I'm back now. After eight years abroad, I came back, worked for my dad for a few uh, months is all. It wasn't even quite a year before he and I had such a falling out that I went my own way again. I was pointing out a few things. I was pointing out my navigation, it's over here. So I can hit that and it will auto steer for me. I'm tell you right now, I don't do that. We drive it by hand. I'm more accurate by hand than this autopilot. That's no fault of the autopilot. This just doesn't have the good, uh, the good navigation on it. So you see, I'm over here to the left of the mark. I'm actually so far out, it won't even engage because I'm so far offline. But if you look back here, I've got a full header or a full machine. So I'm gonna start the corner a little bit earlier this time, leave it a little bigger. I can make it even bigger than that. Next time I'm gonna make it even bigger than that. So in case it didn't make it in the video back there, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. 
let them know that Trevor Struthers Farming is the new channel name and that I will be rebranding rebranding this channel to farming and pursue other channels as well. I'm trying to be a full-time YouTuber as well as a full-time farmer. This isn't the easiest profession in the world, uh, farming. YouTubing can be. No offense, YouTubers. <laughs>